This is the Blue Rams Doom Light 2. All right, coming in from Blue Rams is this a Blue Rams Smart Pan Tilt Camera. This is the Doom Light 2, a refresh of the original Doom Light, uh, of which I don't have. Um, but I am a bit of a fan of the Blue Lambs camera. I have one security camera that I absolutely love and I bought their doorbell that I wasn't a big fan of. For full disclosure, these were this was sent to me by Blue Rams and kudos to them because I did give them a bit of a scathing review of their doorbell. Um, but uh, they, they seem happy enough for me to have a look at this. So they must feel pretty good, pretty confident that this is a top-notch piece of kit. Hopefully. I'll be the judge of that. Right, okay, so we have pet care, baby monitor, elderly care, business support, home security, and live share. Yeah, yeah, I imagine this works with the Blue Rams camera application or home security application, of which I have to say is actually quite good. So here we have the specifications of it, and there's a little QR code there for you to get the Google Play Store and the Apple Store links for the application. 1080p camera, built-in wireless microphone, wireless networks, uh, 2.4 gigs, local micro SD card, which is nice. Some cameras seem to be uh, avoiding that at the moment. And power supply is 5 volts, 1.5 amps. Operating temperature, minus 10 to 50, which is a good range. So I wouldn't be putting this outside because it's not waterproof, but you could put it in a shed if you absolutely need to. Around this side we have some more of the features, uh, 1080p HD resolution, intelligent alarms, two-way audio, night vision, human detection and remote pan and tilt. Always nice to have. Okay, so a little bit of box damage there, but what can you do? It's tiny, nice and dinky, dinky wee thing, and it's got a little protective jobby over the lens. Okay, a box that falls apart in many, many ways. We have a plug, which is very nice. Some manufacturers don't like to include plugs anymore. I think previously on one of these, um, they didn't provide a plug and just left you with a USB cable. You had to um, do something with we, oh, we have uh, screws and a USB type micro USB cable. All right, well, I suppose I'll put out that old argument that you probably have enough of these lying around that if this isn't long enough for your power needs, and it's nice that it only takes one cable. Now I'm noticing, aha, that's that's good news. Wait, it would take only one cable unless you're attaching an ethernet. Sorry, one of my other cameras has an ethernet on it. That's why. And this, this focuses wirelessly. Never mind. I'll maybe cut that out if I remember. Right, okay, so you can plug it in and that's a good long USB cable. Chances are, you might have a shorter one if you need a shorter one. Okay, so there is the camera. It's quite small, dinky, um, built out of molded plastic, which <laughs> you're probably not surprised at. It says blue rams on the front. There seems to be an LED there. This, I imagine, moves up and shows you where the micro US or the micro SD card goes in. I had a little hatch over mine, but on another one, but you know, that's not necessary. I suppose that was waterproof. So there you go. Uh, down, up and down, left, right, 360. Nothing too much around there. There's a speaker at the back, which probably allows that. It allows the elderly care and the baby monitor for you to be able to talk to the person. Uh, around this side, nothing much more. That might be a microphone to be able to pick up what the other person's saying. There may be another microphone there. And then the micro USB there with a set button as well, which probably means reset. And then down here, I'll cover the serial number so no one can hack me. Uh, we have a very, very simple mounting system. Put your screws in. Bonk. Ooh. And there's this. Uh, I had hope this might have one of those wee overlays that you can put up on the wall and drill straight through. Instead, you're going to have to measure these two. One of these, I, I wished it had one of these. In fact, it does. And you can take it off and 
stick it to the wall, and then drill your holes. Easy as pie. Nice one. Okay, so plug it in for the first time. Little green LED comes on. We're going to aim it at Ash, who you will see in a moment. Oh, and it's turning around. Turning that way as well. Getting a good sweep of the area. So the Blue Realms application I currently have installed and have been using for a number of months. I do like it. Uh, not that I've reviewed it, mind you, it would appear. It gets 4.8 stars out of... There's Chris. Um, out of... Well, after 6k, uh, 50k of downloads, Peggy 3. And Jeremy thinks it's great. Althea doesn't mind it. And Jennifer thinks it's great too. I wouldn't say great, but it works. And there's mine. So we're going to add a new camera. And it's a Dome Light 2. It is flashing red, although it looked orange on the camera there. I see the red flashing. Needs that. And it's one of those old school ones where I have to show it a QR code. And that's it, hooking up to the network. Grand. Wi-Fi connection successful. Camera is trying to connect to the server. The polite lady telling us what's happening. Things are really ramping up there, and I'm not. Is Please wait for the camera online. All right, success. Uh, seven day free continuous recording plan. Uh, that is the one thing that bugs me about Blue Rams is if you take out the su subscription, which I did, it is entirely. Oh, there's a new device detected. It is entirely based around that one device. So if you have three devices, you're going to have to three have three subscriptions running. So it's best maybe to pay it for one, that one particular camera, and then micro SDs on the rest of it. Uh, but we'll maybe do that later, the seven days. I might need it in a bit, in a if I go away soon. So we'll skip that for now. So allow notifications, notification frequency, 10 minutes. Record video to cloud is turned off currently because I don't have the subscription. And there we have the success. So we decide where we're putting it. I'm keeping it in the office for the time being and start to experience. And there we have it. There is our feed. So we, ah. I'm not sure if it's, if you're supposed to drag or tap. Okay. That was about 45 degrees. It went each time there. Do we hit that goose full screen? And it's not a bad picture if I take a photograph of that. Then you can now share in the bliss. Aha! Right, okay. So that's on medium quality as well. There we've t shipped it up to high quality, which is doing 12 kilobytes per second. Oh no, I went up to 97 kilobytes per second there. If we go down to low, I'll take a picture in low. And hopefully you're reveling in the low resolution quality. Uh, we did a picture in medium, but I'll do one again just for comparison. And there you go, that's the medium quality and uh, standing somewhat triumphantly. And we'll go for high quality, which is what everybody's waiting for. Are you impressed? I certainly hope so. And then we go and to the video, the video as well, which we're now we're recording, recording a video. video. Um, and I will use this to the camera above. Oh no, don't look over there, it's a mess. Okay, and we can do a full 360 there, but I haven't brushed my hair this morning, and also my t-shirt's got a tear in it, so I'm not going to do that. Uh, we'll stop recording, 
and we'll have a test of this instead. Oh, I'll show you the joystick. This is the joystick here, which is a wee bit wibbly wobbly. You can fire it around like that, I suppose. There's a bit of lag there, but <laughs> it's kind of fun. Um, and we'll go with this, which allows us to talk. Oh, well, that turns off the volume. No, it doesn't allow us to talk. So going into the settings, this is the, these are the settings on the camera. So we've got our device name, which is just office currently. We have device on and off, and then device off time, which we can set up a schedule to allow us to turn it off during the evening in case, I don't know, someone's going to bed or you don't want it on during the day because you're at home or people are in the office. And then notifications, you can turn on your motion detection and set your activity zones, which are, I have yet to notice too much in the way of sensitivity options. The one I have pointing outside, if there's a bush and it blows ever so slightly in the wind, it will uh, notice it and ping me. So I've had to use the scheduler to turn the camera off for most of the day <laughs> until the evening, whenever the spiders come out and dangle in front of it. Then you can do the facial recognition thing. They can tell you when someone appears. It can make out people and faces as well. You can oh, stop notification time. I haven't seen that before, actually. Right, so you can turn off notifications during the night or during the day if you're working from home and are tired of being notified every time a bush blows in the wind. Notification frequency, 10 minutes, so it won't bombard you. Cloud service, sir. Cloud service has expired doesn't tell us the plan prices so it's get one month cloud service plan which is worth 699 and you'll have access to the premium feature, uh, features over 80% of users have got this try one month for free it's not telling us the full price but maybe that'll be elsewhere more ah. so subscribe now and get it for five dollars a month you get the seven day loop, which is $5 a month. You get the 30 day loop for $150 for the year. The seven day loop, which is $50 for a year, free indoor camera giveaway for you. And worthy 15 day loop, which is $60 a year, one year valid continuous recording. I'm pretty sure that's what I did. From, uh, I can't remember what I'm on at the moment, but it was a one year plan and it was a Black Friday sale. So keep an eye out because Blue Rams do do sales quite frequently. But you may have to go for a little while without a subscription at all, but that's what your micro SD card is for. So video quality, we've got it turned up to the max and why not? Night vision, auto. Night vision can be useful for some things and not other things. If you're filming through a window, then don't turn night vision on. If you aren't, then do. This I, I plan on setting up at a window, so I will keep night vision off. Rotating image. It only rotates 180 degrees, which is a bit annoying. I wish they would do those in 90 degree. Even if it's a one-to-one -one picture ratio or something like that, I wish you could fiddle about. I wish you could fiddle about a bit more. Uh, 180 degrees isn't terribly useful. Now that's going to cause a problem with where I was going to put this. Uh, device sharing, if you want to give it out to a family member so they can check as well. Uh, storage, there isn't any storage at the moment, but uh, you stick it in and you'll record to the micro SD card, which means you can see what has been happening in the app and you can download videos from there. We have a status light, which you can turn off because sometimes if you're filming through a window, that can reflect as well. We can turn the microphone off. Time zone, video frequency, 60 or 50 hertz. We'll keep it on 50 at the moment. Uh, network ID and the technical info, which is your MAC address and things like that. Grand. So uh, there's a preset thing down at the bottom here, which I haven't seen before. Which took a screenshot. Interesting. The facial recognition thing is kind of handy as well because it can pick out faces and can tell you someone visited recently and tap on it and it'll ask you who these people are. Friends, family, burglars. So I'm going to go and stick this in and have a play with it and see how it goes and I'll come back 
in a few weeks time and let you know whether or not I enjoyed my time with this little blue rams camera because it does it, it looks like a pretty sweet little device okay so here we are set on a windowsill looking out one of the windows upstairs in my house across Bangor Bay and Belfast Loch on a good day you could see Scotland on a bad day you can't uh, today isn't a bad day and it isn't a good day but you still can't see Scotland but you can see some boats way off there on the horizon the Colours are crisp, well presented for a security camera. This isn't an iPhone camera or an SLR pointed out. This is a, a security camera, so it all looks very well. You can see a little wiggle from the right-hand side of that bit of tree that's blowing gently in the, the breeze, and the clouds are moving quite slowly across the top of the screen. It's all very calm, and it's filmed at a nice frame rate. There doesn't seem to be too much in the way of dropped frames. Now obviously this is looking out through a window so you have a bit of a reflection up there in the top right hand corner. Uh, you can see there's a white rectangle E type thing sticking out of the clouds. That's a piece of furniture. And then further on into the right corner you can see the edge of the window frame because this does have quite a wide angle. And this is a, an, a nice shot I thought and I'll just leave it there and I've left it recording for a while so I'll put that together into a little time lapse now for you and you can see the, the clouds roll. The time lapse isn't a feature of the Blue Rams. I just like doing it and got a bit carried away thinking it might look quite nice. Now moving on to the night modes. This camera doesn't have too much of a problem picking things up at night. Now obviously you, again, can't see Scotland, but you can make out some nice details. Obviously there's a big street light there that's commanding the centre of the frame and uh, some smaller street lights around about. There isn't much activity. Um, I didn't aim it down into my garden because there's very little happening down there as well. But uh, everything is just still. This is without the night vision turned on. And if I were to turn the night vision on, it's completely useless through a double glazed window. So we'll go back to the nice footage. Obviously I don't have anyone's faces captured here, uh, but I have no doubts whatsoever that this would do a fine job given the level of detail that it's managed to pick up looking across at the house across the street you can feel. You can see smaller details on the conservatory near us, and without night vision it does a pretty good job of being able to pick up pretty good street light details. So here we are in the playroom looking at the window. Uh, it seems to invert the black to white and the white to black. Oh, there's a bit of dust there falling in front of it. And you can see a bit of a reflection from the LEDs on something plasticky on the far side of the room there, on one of the shelves. But it's making out a good amount of detail. The night vision works quite nicely. It's quite difficult, I imagine, to get night vision wrong these days. But uh, if we look carefully toward the window, we can see a creepy dude walking up and having a wee look through the window. I don't want to alarm anyone, uh, just in case they do think that it's an intruder. I'm giving you fair warning that it is, in fact, me just dandering up and appearing. There I am looking through the window. You can see me ghostly as ever uh, looking through. And then if I were to uh, go a bit closer, you can see me actually uh, looking through the glass, cupping my hands around my eyes, so you can make out a good amount of detail. The night vision works very well, it's all very clear, and uh, there were no jitters or stops or anything like that there. I'd say that was a fairly successful test. One thing I noted whenever I was having a look through the information that comes through the app, because the app announces sales, is the likes of this, where they are offering you a quarterly package, quarterly, crucially, quarterly, uh, where you can buy three accounts and get two for free. For example, this here, uh, we have 55% off, $129.99 uh, for 30 days continuous recording. That seems quite good, but you have to remember that's quarterly, so you're going to have to times that by four. Then below that we have buy two and get one free. Uh, so you've got 50% off and 40% off various packages for a certain amount, and you can it'll show you what you've saved at the bottom. I'm hoping that this is going forward and not just for the next quarter, for the next three months, you will pay $25.99 for seven days continuous recording. And then after that, you're back to paying two plus the extra one because it does work out quite expensive. There isn't just one plan you can take up that just covers you if you were to 
decorate your entire house in cameras and that makes things here quite expensive uh, whenever it's all in. Uh, possibly it might be better off for businesses to be able to write that off as a security thing but for a home I'd say maybe take out one and rely on your SD cards for the rest of them. So in all, I'm quite pleased with the camera. I think it looks very well. It has a good amount of options for you to be able to do things with. It's flexible in that if you need cloud, you can use cloud to secure all of your footage. Micro SD cards can fail, especially if you have them outside and freezing temperatures. So you, it gives you that peace of mind that it's definitely there, but it does cost quite a bit to do that. If you're just a home user who wants to use the SD card, keep this inside and keep an eye on the house whenever you're maybe away on holiday or at work during the day to watch an animal or something, then these are great, absolutely terrific stuff. And if the card dies, then you can quite easily go back online and spend a couple of quid on Amazon to get yourself a 16 gigabyte card for which the video files are quite small. A seven minute video file is around about 11 megabytes in size. So if you take that into account when you're recording all these things, you will get quite a bit on to a fairly small card. Blue Rams do seem to do quite a bit of compression and the camera footage still looks very good once it's done. So let me know if you have any questions, hit that subscribe button and turn on those notifications and give us a wee thumbs up if you fancy. And remember to tune in to the Tech Addicts podcast every Sunday. We have a new episode where we talk about all the interesting things that have happened over the last week in tech. And other than that, take care. Yeah.